Welcome, welcome. Today on this live, we're using the pumpkin patterns. I know I've used these before, but they're so darn cute, we're using them again. So I have a new project that I'd like to do. One of my, one of my people likes this and I wanted to get this on there. Okay, so I am using a board. It is 17 inches by 23. I believe I got this one at Michael's. So, starting with, okay, so this pumpkin patterns comes with really cute pumpkins in it. Okay, so you've got the argyle, you've got a striped polka dot, and then this like vine with the berries on it. Now, I have done these using the surfaces, the 3D pumpkin surfaces that come with the Chalk Couture pumpkin shapes. Okay, so this is a two-sided, it's a Chalk Couture cutout. They're called pumpkin cutouts in the catalog. So I did the front and then I did the back and I did an orange and black theme and I used all four patterns. So here's the Argyle and then here's the one that has the vine with the berries or the little sprigs of berries. Okay, so that I could alternate on my shelf which way I wanted them to go. You could do either or, see? So cute and they stand up. So if you want them like on your mantle or on a centerpiece or something, we also have the tree, the Christmas tree shapes. And there's three of those cutouts. So those are all new things in the, in the autumn, winter catalog that you can get to going to, um, if you go to my, if you message me, I can give you the link to it. So, um, so anyway, so the cutouts are the first project I did with the patterns. Really fun. Okay, now if I can stand them up without falling with one hand, we're good. Okay, you hear a loud, loud crash, they fell. All right, so they have two short pumpkins and two long pumpkin patterns. So this is what we're doing today on this board. So let me set those to the side. So we're gonna do a couple like overlapping things here. So let's get started. I have a couple fun colors that we're gonna do, like unexpected, but they're cool things that you'll see in craft stores. So starting with this pumpkin pattern, we're gonna do this center pumpkin. I've got to get it all the way to the bottom. And I am one of those measurers to find my center. Let me find the center of the chalkboard. So about 22. So let's see, I could move this over just a little. And there goes my measuring tape. Okay. All right, and I don't, even though I typically would fuzz this transfer. I am not going to today because this has been a very loved on transfer. So all I need to do is make sure all my air bubbles and wrinkles are out and that my silk screen is flat. And then just to protect this bottom edge of my board, I'm going to put washi tape down. Washi tape will work and so will placement tape. If you don't have a roll of washi tape and you have the chalk to our placement tape, it's the same thing. All right, so I'm just going to do that so that the chalk paste is blocked from going through the screen where it kind of goes up that edge. All right. I think we are good. I think we are flat. 
Okay. All right, so this one we're going to use eucalyptus, a fun pumpkin color that I've been seeing anyway at craft shows. It is really popular, really cute. So we're going to go ahead and do this color. If you have any questions while you're watching, feel free, ask away. getting up to this edge here. Okay, so now I'm just going to be smoothing. Making sure all my lines and creases as I was covering this, those are all smoothed out. Okay, that looks good. Now we're ready to peel and reveal. Okay, let's do it from the bottom up. There is our first pumpkin. All right, so this is gonna go in the water because this is a reusable silk screen. So like I said, these are good 12 to 14 different times. So if you wanna make some cute signs to take to a craft show to sell, or sell on Etsy, or want to make gifts for your family and friends, this is a really nice thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to turn on this dryer on low just to dry this before we go to the next step. It dries probably five minutes by air, but just because we're doing a video, this, this kind of hurries it along. Definitely when you're doing layers, you want to make sure the chalk paste is nice and dry before you add the next layer because the sticky part on the back of the transfer will pull that chalk paste up if it's a little wet still. So make sure it's nice and dry to the touch. Isn't this a cute pumpkin? I love this eucalyptus color. So you can see that it lightened up a little bit as it dried. So this is the color before. So it lightens up just a little as it dries. So you can expect that. Okay, I think that's good, guys. All right, so next we're going to do a pumpkin. This one is going to be a white pumpkin, but let me show you a little bit of a trick. And we have to kind of make this look like it's poking out from behind. Mm -hmm from behind this other pumpkin. So we definitely want this edge here. Nice and flat, no wrinkles or bubbles. 
And I'm going to do that washi tape trick again. Right where I'm going to do this chalk paste. I'm just going to, that way it doesn't go over onto the frame. All right, so we have this nice and smooth. All right, so white pumpkins, they are, let's face it, beautiful. And there's so many decorative things that you can do with them. All right, with this white paste, I'm going to go on the outside here. And then when I get close to the middle, where it's going to bump up against this other pumpkin, I'm going to use a smaller tool so that I don't go over the other pumpkin. Does that make sense? I'm going to try to keep it. Over here. All right, now I'm just going to smooth this out. And I'm going to get a little teeny squeegee. Okay. And then I'm going to be really super duper careful. Okay, going a little bit out. Getting it as close as you can possibly go without smearing it too much. Okay, that little area down there is hard to get. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. Okay, that one is definitely tricky and I don't want my pumpkin to dry on me. Okay, let's go ahead and peel to reveal that. So there's our little pumpkin peeking out. See how that worked? All right, that one can go in the water now. Okay. Let's dry this one. Pretty, pretty so far. Love it. Make sure it's nice and dry. Because we're going to do a third pumpkin this way. First, I'm going to go to the right and then, and then we'll do another one over here. All right, that looks good. All right, so now we're going to take our striped pumpkin and we're going to do, let me scooch this down just a little bit there so you can see on the screen. And we're going to do about the same. About the same amount showing. less than that. Maybe about right there. All right, let's get this ledge first. And then I like to smooth it out from there. All 
All right, let's do our washi tape trick again. Look at that piece is getting. And then just smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles because you don't want your silk screen to have those air pockets. Okay, that looks good. All right. All right, so we're gonna go up as close as we can to this eucalyptus colored pumpkin with the squeegee. Get as close as we can with the chalk paste so that it looks like it's poking out from behind. And I'm being ever so slow and careful so that I do not destroy my little eucalyptus pumpkin. So take your time with this. And if you have to, you know, with chalk paste, it dries within five minutes. So if you think it's going to take you longer than five minutes to do it, then you can do whatever means you need to. If you have to grab um, a paintbrush, cut one of your squeegees down to be a little bit smaller, whatever it takes to get that done quickly before the paste dries. Okay. So I try to work as quick as I can, physically possible. Okay, get my little crevice here. Okay, guys, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and peel this one now. Okay, good, just a little smudge right there. I'm gonna stick my silk screen in the water so I can wash that so it can be used again. And then let me grab a little there's my little, littlest paintbrush. I don't think it's over here. Let me grab one of these. Okay. So sometimes if you just wet the tip of a paintbrush, you can get a smear cleared off pretty quickly without ruining it. I'm just kind of blotting it on my towel beside me. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, let's put the dryer on this to dry it good. Okay, so we are done, sort of kind of with the white. We're gonna come back at the end with one more thing, but for right this second, I'm just gonna put the cap on it loosely. And now we're getting out orange peel. So these next pumpkins on the end are going to be orange peel. So it's a nice bright orange. And just so you know, so our chalk paste will dry and it is hard. It is smudge proof, smear proof. It's dry. It's not going to smear when I rub my hands on it. The only time because this is a semi-permanent chalk paste. So it's dry. As long as it's not going to get wet or splashed on, it's going to stay just like it is. If you want to erase this chalkboard and start over, you just have to spritz this down with water and wipe it off with like a paper towel. And you're ready to go to the next step. Okay. So that's how wonderful. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, almost lost you guys. All right. Got it back. All right. Sorry about that. Hope you guys don't get motion sickness. All right. So we're going to work on the next pumpkin right here. 
and it is going to overlap as well. So I make try here. Sure, all the is our argyle, the pumpkin pattern. What I do right there. Let me wait a second. Set my you there. What? Just had a little There we go. All right. Here we go. Next pump. It a little bit of an overlap. I don't because the little is so little. I don't want to take it. So let's try about here. All right, let me. Gonna be a little tricky. Let's see. All right. Let's get some washi tape out to help. All right, so here. I want to try to eliminate as much air pockets or bubbles or wrinkles as I can. All right, so we're just going to go slow with this and take our time. Hmm. It's a little tricky. All right. We're doing orange peel. I'm going to use that small squeegee, but then I'm going to use one of my itty bitty ones to get in the get close to the pumpkin. All right, let's try this. All right, in this area here by the pumpkin is where I'm going to start. So just getting close, but not too close. This argyle is so cute. Who would have thought to put the kinds of patterns on these pumpkins that they came up with, but they're adorable and very popular right now. All right, so that takes care of that little one. Let's go ahead and get the big squeegee and try to get the rest of this. So I'm going to work towards the edge of my board because it is definitely looser over there because I did not do any kind of taping or masking off. I do see one bubble, but maybe.
we have any smears or anything, I can touch that up when I'm done. That was a tricky one to do. All right, so I'm going to move this, move the rest of this out, get the excess off. And then we're going to peel it up. That looks good. All right, here we go. Crossing fingers. That is so cute. All right, now I'm going to clean this transfer real quick. So let me move our board out of the way because I want to use it on the other side right away. So set it on my board here. Just go over it with a damp cloth. Get the excess paste off. Okay, let's rinse real quick. And then we can do this other one. So cute. All right, guys, if you are watching, I am getting a little spinny thing saying that trying to reconnect. Let me know. Say something if you can see me and I am still live. Give me like a thumbs up or a heart or something so I know. All right, now I'm going to take Lysol wipe, Clorox wipe here. Whatever you have. Some people use baby wipes on these silk screens. Some people use Clorox, Lysol, Sam's Club whatever you have and it's good on the sticky side too just to kind of go over it and i'm trying to be careful not to too much tug at the screen because i don't want it to make my um, silk screen misshapen all right so now i'm going to take this fuzzing cloth it's terry cloth on one side microfiber on another and I'm gonna grab another one. And I'm just gonna, with my hands, press and squeeze the water out of this pumpkin so that I can, so I can use it and it'll be dry. Whatever you gotta do. Okay, let's see where it's at. It's pretty good. All right, air that out a little bit. We're gonna grab our board back. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to bring it over so that you can see this other pumpkin view. All right, am I kind of straight or do I, am I looking crooked? There we go. I want you guys to be able to see. Let's go up about there. All right. We have a little chalk paste right there. All right. We're good. All right, so we're going to do about the same. We want about the same amount to show on this side, just to make it a little even. Cute, cute, cute. I cannot wait to put this one on my wall. Right now, this is my favorite. So, let's see here. A little bit of a ring in there. All right, just make sure you smooth everything out. So the least amount of air bubbles possible. I want to say we got to come a little closer. Now, shoot, hold on, let's readjust here. Make sure the bottom of the pumpkin.
definitely go for it. A little bit loose. All right, we're just gonna have to try real careful on this one. All right, I'm still getting a trying to reconnect spinny thing, but I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully, it is still recording me, even if I if I go offline. All right, so getting as close as I can to this pumpkin. Oh, shoot. We're close. Close. Okay. All right, let's switch to the big squeegee. I'm going to move it over. All right, now again, I'm going to go in the direction towards the frame so that I don't have too many wrinkles or bubbles because it's real loose right now. Okay, we're going to go from the bottom. Okay, and then from the side, as much as we can. Oh, okay, that one moved a little. Let's hope that did not smear too much of our pattern. Okay, I think I think we are good. Let me get the excess off here. We'll see. Whatever we have to touch up is what we have to touch up. All right, let's see what this did. All right, let me put my hands a second. All right. Let's move this over just a smidge more. We're going to go ahead and peel this off. Okay, just a little bit on our frame. Not too bad. That is cute. Let me get both these orange pumpkins dried. They are very super, super wet still. And then we can go from there. All right, so I have one more thing that I'm going to add to this. After I get it completely dry, thanks, Amy. I'm going to take this one bone down and see what it's doing here. All right, it's fine. I think it's actually our Wi-Fi connection, maybe. Yesterday it was rainy and we had really bad Wi-Fi connection, too. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need to, like, invest in higher speed, but... All right, let's get this one dry. And then I'm going to put a message across the top of the board. That's our last detail. No way. Great, Amy. Oh, what'd you say? What'd they say? That's awful. I don't know why. Hackers have nothing better to do with their time than to just be annoying. Yeah, 
make sure this top part's really super dry. So what do you think of a eucalyptus pumpkin in the middle, Amy? Do you like that one? That was a a trial thing. I wasn't sure what I was gonna if I was gonna like it or not. All right. Now let me scooch this board down just a little. I have one more addition to the board, and this is from the set Thankful Blessed. And I have not put lint on this transfer yet. So I always like to take a brand new transfer, get a little bit of lint on the back, especially when you're doing layers over other chalk, because it'll protect it from pulling up chalk paste too much. All right, I have got to scroll down. Okay, good, Amy, good. Ugh. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think it's really cute. It's gonna be cute on the wall too, I think. All right, so I am going to take the biggest thankful out of the set of the Thankful Blessed. And I'll show you what choices I had in a second. I love this cursive. Thankful blessed, but this is the choices from this second transfer. Okay, so they had the thankful, they had blessed, they had a little bit smaller thankful, and a smaller blessed. So you could pick big cursive, blessed or thankful, or the print. Anyway, I definitely wanted the thankful. But you can pick whatever you want to. And if you want to come to one of my chalk nights, I'll let you use these pumpkins and these letters to make yourself a board. I've got lots of boards to pick from. So if you're near Vicksburg, you would probably really enjoy coming to chalk night. All right. Let me put a pile down here. All right, let's see if that will be enough. It might be. I love doing the chalking. You guys like it as much as I do. Um, comment, and you if you like it as much as I do, and you would like to do what I'm doing and make these live videos doing these projects, you could see yourself doing it. Just um, comment, join in the comments of my video, and I'll send you a link that you can check out. And then anyone who would be interested in joining the club couture, we have, um, it's eight and a half by 11 size transfers that come to your house for you to try this out and see if you like it. They also have, it's $19.99 a month and they also have, um, a little kit that you can get that comes with a full-size white chalk paste, a squeeze, two different squeegees, one's a multi-tool, one's a small squeegee, and then they have two cute, adorable um, surfaces to chalk on, as well as two of the board erasers, which are little round, puffy things that you can clean your chalkboard with. Um, if you're interested in that, just comment club in the comments of this video. If you would like to be a customer and you'd like to join my VIP group here on Facebook, um, just comment add me and I will add you to that group. I'll send you the link where you can join that VIP group because you get special deals, special sale bundles and things. Um, I do ship all over the U.S., 
So if you live outside of Michigan, I can get you things from our um, in stock um, supplies and send them to you. Also, if you have friends and family who are not on Facebook that would love to watch a video like this, I'm on YouTube, same name, Beth's Classy Chalking, and please subscribe. Also, feel free to share this video and love on it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really like the finished project. Amy, what do you think? Cursive, did I say cursive? Well, what do you call it, script? <laughs> Just because you're English major and I'm art major. <laughs> All right. I hope you liked this video. I cannot wait to put this on my wall. I will put uh, final pictures of it once I'm done, when everything is completely dry, and I'll post those on here. Otherwise, you guys have a great night, and I'll be back on... I am not sure about tomorrow. We have open houses at school, so I don't know how late it will be, but I'll try to. <laughs> I'll probably be really tired, but I'll try. All right, guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have um, any questions. Bye now. <laughs>